I'm Stephen Trigg. I'm a orthopedic surgeon at Mayo Clinic in Florida, and I specialize in surgery of the elbow, wrist, and hand. We're seeing a increase in the number of distal biceps tendon ruptures. As we know, the biceps is the, the muscle in the, in the front part of our arm that gives definition to the, to the anterior part of the arm and is uh, important in both flexion but also in forearm rotation, specifically turning the forearm from palm down to palm up. This is a model of a, of a right um, humerus and scapula and uh, forearm. The biceps originates uh, from the uh, scapula and inserts in this one area of the radius bone. This is called the bicipital tuberosity. In addition, as the muscle contracts, it will flex the forearm. But as it inserts here, when the, when the hand is palm down, which is what we call pronation, as the muscle contracts on the tendon, it helps to assist the forearm in turning into supination or palm up. We've, we're seeing degeneration of the insertion of the tendon here, and the, and the tendon will actually rupture, usually quite suddenly. The, pa the patient will notice an immediate pain, and they will, they, as they look at the the contour of their arm, they will see a bulging of the muscle. Now it can also, the tendon can also rupture here, um, and then the muscle will gather down here. There are a number of uh, orthopedic companies that are, have a uh, technique or devices which uh, facilitate in solidly anchoring the tendon back into, into the radial tuberosity. And this is a small mock-up of one of these uh, types of devices. An incision is made, usually a transverse incision or longitudinal incisions, three to four inches in, in length. And uh, we dissect down into the area to expose the radial tuberosity. And um, we then have to gather the retracted tendon. Oftentimes, the tendon and this little shoestring is used to this, the tendon will actually retract up into this area. So we have to find the end of the tendon and bring it back down through the incision to be able to work on it. Now, one of the things that allows this procedure to uh, be effective is this very strong um, suture that we have, that uh, many of the companies have developed, the so-called super braids. They're very, very strong. They can exceed the strength of the uh, tendon in many cases. So what is done is the, the end of the tendon is freshened. Oftentimes there's some shredding of the end of the biceps tendon. But we do a very effective whip stitch uh, of the end of the tendon. And so the suture comes out. There are two limbs of the suture. And this small device is called a suture anchor or an endo button. Um, it has uh, two uh, small holes in it and the, the, uh, the suture is then passed through in both ways and it engages this little device. We then have a drill that drills completely through the, um, through the radial tuberosity and I had to uh, break this here to be able to show this effectively. Um, and then the small suture anchor with a loading device, not with these forceps, is then passed through, passed through to, to the other side of the bone. Two limbs of the suture it engages this. Now this is what is interesting. Slowly, we bring this in. The tendon is brought through and engages into that. And then we then suture this into place. And that gives us a very, very strong reconnection of the tendon. So then it can engage and flex the elbow. We are getting uh, good results with this. Um, the rehab is greatly simplified from the other uh, techniques of the past, and 
Uh, in my opinion, the risk uh, to the critical structures of the radial and posterior interosseous nerves are uh, greatly decreased. If you have any further questions uh, about uh, orthopedics or medicine in general, uh, we, I encourage you to log on to mayoclinic.org and of course we would be happy to uh, see you as a patient at Mayo Clinic in Florida.